Saturday, July 6, 2024, afternoon edition. Uh, please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Uh, Good afternoon, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, AGNDD Until I Report. We're excited to have you with us here. I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. And now, headlines of the day. Miami lands five-star Ole Alo Fituli, 2024, British Grand Prix FP2, Norris leads practice. Paige DeSorbo predicted Lindsay Hubbard's pregnancy. Millennials appear to age slower, reasons explained. Fans welcome Willie Nelson back on stage and much, much more. But first, this day in history. July 6th in history. July 6th, 1348. Pope Clement VI issues a papal bull protecting the Jews accused of having caused the Black Death. July 6th, 1892. 3,800 striking steel workers engage in a day-long battle with Pinkerton agents during the Homestead strike, leaving 10 dead and dozens wounded. Famous people born on this day. Louis Belson. Here's a recap of their Wikipedia page. Louis Belson, born July 6, 1924, was an American jazz drummer, composer, band leader, and educator. He pioneered the use of two bass drums, worked with notable bands, and was inducted into the Modern Drummer Hall of Fame. Belson passed away on February 14, 2009. July 6, 1948. Brad Park, Canadian-American ice hockey player and coach. And now on to today's news. General News. Paige DeSorbo predicted Lindsay Hubbard's pregnancy less than a year ago. Page 6. In August 2023, Paige DeSorbo predicted Lindsay Hubbard's pregnancy during a scene on Summer House following Hubbard's breakup with Carl Radke. Hubbard later announced she is expecting her first child with her mystery boyfriend, whom she began dating in January after going on a few dates in 2020. Business News. Key takeaways from the June jobs report, CNN. The U.S. labor market remains steady, with job gains slightly cooling in June. The unemployment rate inched up to 4.1 percent, but this is seen as positive for inflation control. Job growth was led by government and health care sectors, while wage growth slowed, potentially paving the way for Fed rate cuts. Bitcoin could face volatility from U.S. payroll and unemployment reports, but not much, say analysts. Decrypt. Bitcoin faces challenges as Mt. Gox trustee moves $2.7 billion in BTC from cold storage, causing market turbulence. U.S. payroll and unemployment reports may not heavily impact markets, but future rate cuts could affect Bitcoin prices. Investors eye Federal Reserve's monetary policy report. Sports News. Miami gets commitment from five-star offensive lineman Alifai Tuli, ESPN. Miami Hurricane secured a commitment from top interior offensive lineman S.J. Alofaituli, boosting their recruiting class. Alofaituli, a five-star guard, chose Miami over Michigan and Nebraska, impressed by the coaching staff and program's track record. His commitment adds to Miami's strong recruiting momentum. 2024 British Grand Prix FP2 report and highlights. FP2. Norris sets the pace during second practice at Silverstone ahead of Piastri and Perez. Formula One. Lando Norris sets the pace in second practice at Silverstone ahead of Oscar Piastri and Sergio Perez. The risk of rain is at 60%, making it a busy session as teams prepare for potential showers. Max Verstappen leads early on before switching to soft tires and going even faster. Today's obituaries. Lamberto Antonio, brief Wikipedia summary. Lamberto Antonio was a celebrated Filipino poet and writer known for his critically acclaimed books and translations of literary works. He co-wrote the screenplay for the first Philippine film shown at Cannes Film Festival. Antonio received numerous awards, including the National Book Award for Poetry, and passed away on July 6, 2024. 
Mirta Diaz Balart, brief Wikipedia summary. Mirta Diaz Balart, the first wife of Fidel Castro, was a Cuban woman who married Fidel in 1948 and had one son with him. They divorced in 1955 and she later remarried and had two daughters. She lived in Spain and Cuba and was the aunt of anti-Castro politicians. Andre Drager, brief Wikipedia summary. Andre Drager, a 25-year-old Norwegian racing cyclist, tragically died in a race crash during stage four of the 2024 Tour of Austria. Drager had notable achievements in his cycling career, including winning several races and classifications. His death was a significant loss to the cycling community. Edgardo Huertas, 65, Puerto Rican singer, actor and show host. Kyrie Jackson. Brief Wikipedia summary. Kyrie Jackson, a talented American football player who played for the Alabama Crimson Tide and Oregon Ducks, tragically died in a traffic collision at the age of 24. He was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings in the fourth round of the 2024 NFL Draft. Azalikichenko, 86, Russian television and radio host. Kimurayama Mamoru, brief Wikipedia summary. Kimurayama Mamoru was a professional sumo wrestler from Japan. He had a successful career with highlights like winning championships and reaching the Megashira 7 rank. After retiring, he became a coach at Kasagano Stable. Unfortunately, he passed away at the age of 42 in Tokyo in 2024. Angela Pagano, 87, Italian actress, The Hideout, Naples in Veils, Like a Cat on a Highway 2. Ahmed Refat, brief Wikipedia summary. Ahmed Refat was a talented Egyptian footballer who played as a winger for various clubs including ENPPI, Zamalek and Al Masri. He also represented Egypt at both youth and senior levels. Tragically, he passed away at the age of 31 due to a heart attack on July 6th, 2024. Javier Valle Riestra, brief Wikipedia summary. Javier Valle Riestra was a Peruvian lawyer and politician who held various public offices, including serving as a member of parliament and as prime minister during the presidency of Alberto Fujimori in 1998. His premiership was notable for being the only one led by an opposition politician in Peruvian history under the Fujimori regime. Juan Miguel Villar Mir, brief Wikipedia summary. Juan Miguel Villar Mir, 1931-2024, was a Spanish billionaire, politician and chairman of Obrascon Huarte Lane. He served as Minister of Economy and Finance in 1975 and third Deputy Prime Minister in 1976. Villamir acquired and revitalised Obrescon Huarte Lane in 1987, leading it to success until his death in 2024. Teodor Zgureanu, 85, Moldovan conductor and compositor. Nahid Ansari, Pakistani chef and television host, Cancer. Serge Ducost, a Haitian footballer who played for Aigle Noir AC and the national team, passed away at the age of 80. He represented Haiti in the 1974 FIFA World Cup. Raphael Geminiani. Brief Wikipedia summary. Raphael Geminiani a French road bicycle racer who competed professionally from 1946 to 1960, had notable achievements in the Tour de France, Giro d'Italia and Vuelta a España. He won the mountains competition in the Tour de France in 1951 and was known for his strong personality, earning the nickname Le Grand Fusil. His father, Giovanni, moved the family to France in 1920 to escape fascist persecution and Geminiani started racing at a young age, eventually becoming a successful professional cyclist and later a directeur sportive. Health news. Kate Middleton, other celebrity diagnoses may stoke public's cancer fears. The Washington Post.
Cancer death rates have dropped significantly, but fear of cancer remains high due to misconceptions and outdated anxieties. Medical advances have improved survival rates, but cancer phobia can lead to unnecessary treatments. Education, communication, and seeking support can help manage cancer anxiety effectively. Why do millennials appear to be aging slower? Here's the answer. Huff Post. The article discusses how millennials, like celebrities Michael B. Jordan and Anne Hathaway, appear younger than their age due to skin care habits such as sunscreen use. Conversely, Gen Z individuals may appear older due to different skin care practices and economic hardships. Sunscreen use and skin care routines play a significant role in how different generations age. Entertainment news. Watch fans welcome Willie Nelson back on stage, Ultimate Classic Rock. Willie Nelson returned to the stage at his 4th of July picnic in New Jersey after missing previous performances due to health reasons. The 91-year-old musician received a warm welcome and played a 19-song set, including tracks from his latest album. Now a couple of dad jokes for you. I used to work for an origami company, but they folded. How can you tell a vampire has a cold? They start coughing. Thank you for watching this AGNDD Intel I report, dear viewers. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.